Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, uh, we were exploring the water prison, and we made it back um, into our apartment after cleaning out the first three floors. Now, we do have Walter Sullivan chasing us, and, well, I'm not 100% sure what to do. Uh, so, I'm going to start jumping down the holes anyway. Oh. We are possessed. But... I don't... Is that the front door that's possessed? Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start jumping down the holes. Let's try and get these used up. Save our candles for now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I guess the front door's possessed. Somehow? Shit. Okay. Not 100% sure what exactly about that is possessed. I guess we have to use a candle. Uh, which is kind of a pain in the dick. Because now we've wasted those... Can't put it here. Well, you kind of have to. Because. I guess we've cleared it. Don't go out. Not quite sure what that was. I mean, we still got four candles, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to jump down the holes and see if we can find anything down there. Read a, a scrap of red paper. I'm going to summarize anything... Uh, everything that I've learnt about Walter Sullivan so far. He was born right here in room two, uh, 302 of South Ashford Heights. His parents abandoned him soon afterwards and disappeared somewhere, leaving the baby alone. He was discovered and sent to St. Jerome, Jerome Hospital. He was adopted by Wish House, an orphanage in the forest near Silent Hill that's run by the secret Silent Hill religious cult. When he was six years old, someone from the cult showed him where he was born. Since then, he started to believe that room two o uh, 302 itself in other words, this room was his mother. Ooh. Okay. Every week he travelled from the orphanage to South Ashfield Heights. Pretty long trip for a kid his age. Sometimes he took the subway and sometimes the bus. I'm tired. My headache is really killing me now. I'll write more tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this maniac killer believed that the room was his mother. Okay, I mean that that's pretty far fetched, even for um, even for Silent Hill, that's pretty nutty. But um, okay, okay, yeah, we're gonna enter the hall. Uh, now, there is a sort of obedience. I did read where it was. I think it's on the second floor. I'm not 100% sure. Because I only skimmed through it. Uh, I don't want to miss one of those. Right, okay, so... She's still here. I mean, she's, she seems like she's still fine. Uh, so that's the way back. I don't want her following me. So let's get her as far over into this corner as possible. Hopefully she's not out with us. Ah, uh, she is still out with us. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm going to jump down. Now, is our friend Walter still out here? <laughs> he thinks of rooms as mother. What douchebag. Like, seriously. Ah, 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 ah. Laugh all you want, me laddo. You are quite... Easily the dumbest person. Uh oh, and yeah, I appreciate your attacking me, but 
I kind of want... Right, we're on the second floor now. Yeah, apparently in here... Is... Yeah, I'm getting tired too. Uh, in here somewhere is the... Um... Sword of Obedience, I think. Fuck off. So, in this room... Yeah. If it's not in here, then I'm not sure, but I'm sure... Ah! Some kind of strange sword, yeah. Mm, nice. Okay, well... I mean, how the fuck were you supposed to find that? Um, right. So let's go back outside. I don't want, like, to bring her with me, but... I suppose we don't really have a lot of choice, do we? Right, Walter's still there. Can you... Damn it, we're stuck. We're stuck. Fuck off. No. Run. That's so annoying. You get stuck on the ladders. You get stuck on the door. God damn it. Okay, come on. See, Resident Evil never had any of these problems. I mean, you had the, like, screwy uh, tank-like controls. But they were never bad, you know. They were a little bit weird and fiddly, but... The Resident Evil games were a lot more polished, I would say, than these. These games just, or this game, I should say, just feels broken. Like, it, it's, there's such a lack of polish to it, you know? Um, so, I guess, ah, good, she's not here. So, we know where she is. In theory, she's somewhere where she shouldn't get hurt. And we can go straight down, which is nice. And again. Now this should lead us down. Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot about these white caps. Uh, okay. Well let's explore these rooms. See if we've. Oh god. Yeah. This is where. What's his name died. It's a shirt with something written on it in wax. Uh, soak me in some kind of colored liquid. Okay. Not really sure. Oh. Was it? There was somewhere in the house that said uh, it's. Sm ah, the bathtub. Yeah, because the bathtub's full of gooey liquid now, isn't it? Oh, shit. Damn it. So I'm guessing we've got to soak it in there, which is easy enough. Yeah, well, we'll definitely have the Saint Medallion. And we'll have the drink, and we drink that now. Let's keep this out. Where are we going? I guess we can go back to the main area. Anything in here? Oh, got some bullets. We'll have the bullets. We've got a nice amount of those. We've got like 40 bullets. We're actually finding quite a lot of bullets at the moment. Yeah, so I guess we've got to go... Oh, fuck. Now, I wonder if there's anything this way. Yeah, I'm guessing we've got to go and um, douse that in the liquid upstairs. Uh, upstairs, in our room. Uh, which is easy enough. Any items? 
Does that look like some kind of beating stick then? But alas, no. Oh. Hello. Is that a gun? It's a leather s sap? Leather sap? Oh, nightstick. For Eileen, lead weighted leather nightstick does not require much force to cause damage. Looks extremely painful. Okay, cool. I guess. Yeah, and that looks to be about it. So, like, the, I, I mean, I guess that's going to be a better weapon for her. It's not overly obvious. There wasn't anything else in here, was there? It's not overly obvious which, um, ah, oh, fuck. Had this problem last time, didn't we? Which weapon is best, you know? Go down. And go down. We are also ah shit. Like out of item space, pretty much. Okay, I did think we were gonna have more enemies to fight, to be honest. Been fairly chilled out so far. Now this like doesn't go anywhere, I don't think. That goes down. And down. Leads down there. Uh, let's go down here. Actually, let's go back upstairs. Because we are literally full of stuff. We need to... We need to uh, clear out our inventory because we're filled up. Let's go find Eileen. Because we don't want to leave her on our own too long. But that does mean going back up and dealing with Mr. Jackass. Oh! I didn't even know that was locked, to be honest, but okay. Um, we need to get Eileen back in here, really. Uh, let's go get her before we do anything else. Because, as I said, I don't know if she's, like, taking damage. Oh, yeah, we can just skip up here, can't we? Nice. Ah, is there anything up here? No, it's just a fucking buzzer. Piss off. I don't actually know what they are. They're like moths or something. Right, up the ladder. Up the ladder. Oh, it's so hard to go up the ladders, honestly. Yes. Uh, where do we leave her? We left. Ah, she's in the other one. Yeah. Yeah, he's like really annoying. Like just walking around here. Oh, sh she was... Ah, she was here. Ah, she still looks okay, actually. Right, there you go. Have that. Um... I don't know what's better. Like, I guess that's got more range, but then does the range even really matter? I, I don't know. To be quite honest with you. Oh, I didn't think she was with us. Right, so let's go back down. Come on, Eileen. We've got a long way to go. She's quite good at keeping up with us, to be fair. I mean, I do feel quite harsh that I'm forcing her through this ordeal. Although, we're not really forcing her. We're actually helping her. But, you know, I mean, we are just, like, fully sprinting away from her while she's hobbling. Oh, you fucker. Like, how could we even have avoided that? Seriously. Couldn't even see him. Ah, oh, it's just like so many annoying. Oh, this isn't where we want to be. Oh yeah, yeah, twat. We can keep going down, can't we? Yeah, because this just infinitely keeps going down. I remember. Come on, Eileen. Let's get away from Walter. Walter's such a dick. But she did mention that Walter saved her, the boy version of Walter. 
uh, saved her way back when from getting murdered. That's why she was only like badly injured and not murdered. And I assume that's because she gave Walter a toy, that little doll that we didn't pick up. Um, now, I have since looked that up. What that doll does, basically it takes up an inventory slot. You know, um, but it, it uh, also causes another haunting in the house. That's all it does. It doesn't actually influence the story. I thought that might be a turning point. Um, I thought if we pick that up, that might affect the ending, but it doesn't. But yeah, it's not really recommended to pick that up. Anything weird going on? Any monsters making my home their personal playground? Good, good. Right. Oh, yeah, we got to dunk that, haven't we? Right, let's drop you down. Drop you down. I don't know whether to keep that or not, to be honest. Probably don't need that many bullets. Uh, like it's weird because like if we've got if we've got twenty bullets on us that that really isn't a lot you know um I mean, that's just taking up an inventory space ooh hang on let's go soak that and see what happens before we make any decisions yeah I'm sure there's like foul smelling blood and it mentioned the stench yeah. Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Yeah, just like the water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. Yeah. Soak the prison. I mean, I'm not surprised. I thought that would work. The puddle of blood. You can see white letters rising to the top. My room is on the second floor, and I had to drink something with black things in it. I hid the sword with the triangle handle under my bed. That guy, the fat one took the basement key next time I stick this triangle sword into that pig and take the key okay copy the note okay so the fat guy was the what was his name I know who they mean they're talking about the guy that died in the prison the warden bloke so he's got a key, because obviously he was sacrificed, so like all the others, no doubt he's going to come back and haunt us. Um, but I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing we need to kill him and grab the key. But where's he then? Because we, ha oh, we haven't been right down to the bottom, I suppose. <gasps> if we've got to fight him and he's a ghost, why don't we use a silver bullet? Probably a good idea. Uh, my phone's going mad. Um, let's use a silver bullet on him. Can be used with pistol. So I guess it can only be used with the pistol, not the revolver. But the revolver, we don't have any ammo. Mm. I guess we'll save that for like a boss or whatever. We ha at this point, we haven't had any bosses in this game at all, when you think about it. Um, right, well, if we're going to use the revolver, let uh, the silver bullet, let's drop back these bullets. You don't need that many. Okay, let's go back. So, I'm guessing that we've got to go down now. Oh, we have opened that door. So now I... Ah, yeah. Eileen should be able to follow us down now, shouldn't she? Because obviously she can't use the ladders. Um. Okay. I think we're making progress. Right, how's she doing? Yeah, she's still looking pretty good, actually. She's not, like, fully blooded up yet. Uh, how do we... Okay. 
Okay, so we switch out like that. That's fine. Right. Was not expecting a cutscene. Oh, look, he doesn't have his shirt on. Hey, buddy. There he is, number 18. Prepare for the ritual. All for the blood. All for the blood. Whose blood? Come on, you fuck. Let's see how good one of these bullets actually is, shall we? Now, this room. W oh. This room was full of those wall guys before. So. That's why I was a bit apprehensive about bringing her down here. Oh, we've got loads of these bloody things. Gonna get... Oh, here he comes. Where is he? Oh, hello. Alright. Oh, that was fucking easy. Oh, look how much health we've taken. You've got the water prison generator room key. Cool. Oh man. That's rough. Right, what we're gonna do... We're really injured now as well, that's not good. What I wanna do... I don't wanna leave this... Do, do we leave? Because we know we can take the swords back. Because we found that ghost originally that had the sword in him. We can take them out. I don't know whether it's worth leaving the sword in him. Or if it's worth taking the sword back. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. How... How do we... Get down... Do we just keep going? Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, okay, I mean, cool, I guess. Not overly convinced that that's... What the fuck is making that noise? Not overly convinced that this is needed. How many swords do we have? We've got, like, another two at home, haven't we? So... I don't know if it's worth going back for the sword. Now, is there any enemies in here? Doesn't look like it, which means we can leave her. Oh, I guess... Key held by the ghost of Andrew. It opens door on B2. Um... Oh, hang on. There we go. We can, like, use up some ammo there. I think it was. Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll take the portable medikit. That was actually pretty bloody useful. I don't know. I don't know whether to leave that, uh, that sword in the ghost. You know what? We're going to leave it in there. Because... Like, is that going to pin him down permanently? But the thing is, like, if we leave it in him where he is now, is he still going to haunt us later on in the game? I think once I finish this game, I'm going to look up how those swords actually work. Um, anyway, let's continue. Oh. That's the key for that. Okay.
I thought that was going to be the key for further on. Oh, what the f fuck are those? They're all pointing at me. You know what, guys? How many is there? Are you serious? Holy shit! Can you not, like... Oh, man. Yeah, that's fine. Hit me, not her. Right, stand on him. Dude, that was intense. How many was there? Six? Holy crap. Man. That was kind of cool in a way. Fuck. I hope she's not too badly injured after that. But she still... She doesn't look bad. Still looks like she's in fairly good health. Holy shit. That was brutal. And we used all of our bullets there. Fuck. Okay, so I wasn't really expecting that. Ah, oh, and this leads... Okay, so I guess we've completed this area now. So we're on to the next. But I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go back and save it. Because we're pretty much on the end of it now. I'm glad to be out of that prison. Actually... Here's the thing, right? These areas seem like they're really long and complicated, but they're really not, actually. Yeah, we're going to go back and save it anyway. Um, six of those things, though. Holy crap. That was pretty intense. It's probably the biggest fight we've had in this game to date. Damn. That was fun, though. Right, I'm guessing this place is going to be cursed. We do have the medallion, so that's one thing, at least. Nothing new there. Oh, yep, there's something new. Don't know where that is. Don't know what. Don't know what's possessed. Okay. Literally have no idea what was possessed there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to save this here. I'm going to save this, like, back up here because I think she's okay still. So we're not going to save over our original... Um, Restart, save, whatever you want to call it. Safety save, I guess. But we are going to save it there. Because um, I think... I mean, she still looks like she's in good condition. Good condition, yeah. She's she's used, but she's in good condition. Um, anyway, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. When we come back, we're going to go to the next world. Hmm. Must be close to finishing this game by now, surely. I'm actually starting to enjoy it again. Um, it was just that water prison, man. Hmm. Anyway, guys, till next time.